we sat down to a delicious feast. I was enjoying a plate of steaming nachos when I heard Pinky whispering to Marcella. I wonder what Sally Rob Mousen is doing tonight. She did out. What a rotten rat. Do you know Sally Rat Mousen? She runs the Daily Rat. She is my number one enemy. I heard she's spending Christmas Eve alone, Marcella answered, shaking her head. Serves her right, Trap added. That rodent is as mean as a rabbit tiger cat. Just then, Saucy dragged out another tray of food. I looked around at the happy snouts of all my guests. Everyone was laughing and screeching. It was such a warm and friendly sight. Suddenly, I was overcome with sadness. Poor Sally Redmousen, I thought. Yes, yeah, she was my enemy. Yes, she was rude. Yes, she was obnoxious. Yes, she was all around pain in my fur. But it was Christmas Eve. No mouse should be alone on such a special night. But I could stop myself. I picked up the phone and dialed Sally's number. Hello, is this Sally Redmousen? This is Geronimo Stilton, I squeaked. For a moment, there was a total silence. Then Sally's gruff voice came over the line. What do you want, Stilton? She, wer- she asked wearily. I explained I was having a Christmas Eve party dinner. Then I asked her to join us. Another long silence followed. I think she was in shock. As I said, we are rivals. We don't call each other to talk. We just call each other names. It is Christmas Eve, Sally, I added. Let's call a truce. After a while, Sally agreed. All right, she snorted, but just this once and only because it's Christmas. I chuckled. Sally could would never change. Three minutes later, she was at my front door. She poured me a tiny box. This is for you, she grunted. I opened it. It was a tiny silver frame with Sally's picture on it. To my little friend phone, Sally had written on the back, Merry Christmas, while the truth last. I dreamed that I invited her in. Thanks, Sally, I said. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too.